Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to day one of a new week here at Snowdrop Tundra. I'm still looking for Delibird. I don't think it's likely that we will see a Delibird today. And we'll just have to jump into the report and see what's up. So I'm hopefully going to find maybe a Snover too throughout this week. Last week, I managed to catch a single Snover and a single Delibird of a whole week's worth of effort. So maybe this week will be better. I think we got a lot of water type spawns last week. I didn't consider the fact that Slowpoke and Slowbro and Psyduck would show up everywhere. So hopefully this week should be better in terms of the overall encounters. This should be a slumbering. I let the device just sit and rest for a long time at the very end there. I was working on my Discord server, been updating a lot of the texts and channels and onboarding and everything. I want to say thank you to all of you who have become YouTube members the past day. It's almost 10 new members just since yesterday, so it is pretty crazy. I guess one of those reasons why you actually decided to jump in was, you guys, it's a special offer right now. I have a couple slots available in my free-to-play account if you want to be on my friend list. That's an added perk here to the YouTube membership. Maybe we can talk a little bit about that later. Right now, I'm super interested in the sleep session because there is a decent chance here that there is a snover. That's at least what I hope for by trying to force a slumbering session here. So got Riolo, got Riolu, and Cubone, Marowak. Whoa, that is so strange. Geodude is digging down, but it's a snowdrop tundra. It would be funny if they added some snow on him. Is there gonna be a snow over here or what? A Marowak and a wall rain. And a Togepi. I, I almost didn't see the Togepi. Oh man, at this point in time, I don't know what I should catch. Maybe I'll go for the Cubone here. I guess if the Marowak is hungry, I'll throw it a biscuit but we just have to see what is up here today. And I'm this close to rank 59. I think I need 1600 and here was like 1450. So getting there, hopefully I can manage to get to max rank before Suicune. There it is. I don't want the Riolu, even though I kind of need the candy, I need the biscuits more. So I think what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to feed the Marowak and call it a day. I hope you guys have had a good experience overall this past 24 hours or what it is with the maintenance. I for one was caught off guard because I looked at the different time for the maintenance and so the maintenance started at 7 a.m. here in Norway and I tried to sync my plus plus at 7.02 and it did not want to work because maintenance was ongoing. And so I had a very, very lackluster, lackluster day today. I didn't sink until like 1 p.m. I did sneaky snacking on Sylveon for like 24 hours almost. It was just dumb. So it is one of those days where things just are not working out, but thankfully, they placed the maintenance on Tuesdays, which to an extent is the least important day of the week, most of the weeks. So I got a bonus. That was real close, wasn't it? I didn't see if it ranked up or not. I don't think it did because then it usually like fills my whole screen with stuff. Mild nature is actually awful. That is ingredients up and Marowak is a berry specialist. So let's bring Marowak up in the widget. Marowak slumbering, it is a ground type, so really good at Taupe Hollow. Interesting thing about Marowak is it does not have a C ingredient. It is cacao and ginger. And actually, if you look at the cacao drop at level 30, that is pretty big. Two cacaos at level 30 is very, very high. If you look at the value there for that drop, it's close to 300 and that is the range that a lot of the ingredient specialists are in. So if you somehow find a 
uh, Marowak that is ABA, so ginger, cacao ginger, that average value is very, very high, despite the fact that it is a berry specialist. So kind of interesting to consider. And then you do have a 22.5% ingredient rate, so that is pretty high, and it is a self-healer. So I am looking for the berry finding on it. I don't think I've found a single berry finding Cubone yet. Maybe we can have a look in the bag and see. But that is a double cacao. Just talked a lot about cacao. And to an extent, the three cacaos at the end there are almost the same as the gingers. Okay, let's see if there is a berry finding hiding here somewhere. Research EXP bonus, not bad. It's not among the best, but I'm starting to really feel that I need to piece together a couple Pokemon at the very least <clears throat> of the berry specialists that have sleep EXP bonus and research EXP bonus. I just really need the berry finding. The no berry finding here would be a no-no. So helping speed, ingredient finder, and then we already knew that ingredient up nature was to an extent detrimental, but Marowak a little weird in the volume of cacao that it drops at level 30. So comparatively, like if we have a look at Blastoise, for example, oh, and the thing that I wanted to say about the C ingredient here is you are way more likely to find cacao in just the whole following level 30. So level 30 is always more uh, likely for the B ingredient to show up. That is a two in three chance. And so, all things considered, this ingredient list right here was a 1 in 6 chance. Or was it more than that? I think it is... I can't math right now. Let's just uh, do Blastoise. It's way too late in the day. <laughs> I woke up at like 4. <laughs> so, Blastoise has 3 cacao in that level 30 B slot, as you can see. Ingredient rate is 20 seven and a half percent let's go back to the marowak marowak a lot slower though so that's something to keep in mind but overall not the best pokemon today though i am interested to pop into the bag and just have a look at the other marowak cubone contestants that i do have it's not impossible that i should already have one so i think we should filter by ground type and I have four Marowak so far one that is starred and one that is shiny let's have a look at the shiny at the very end so I guess the level 22 was the one that we found today I think I'm just gonna go ahead and release this one right away I won't be investing in a berry specialist that is not berry finding for the most part unless it has some insane helping bonus Helping speed um helping speed us. You know the deal. So a recent Marowak as well. Usually I click through all these. The same ingredient list as you can see. Let's see. So you have a two and thirds chance of the cacao at level 30. And then you have a 50-50 on that very end. So the actual chance of this ingredient list is one in three. So you have a 2 and 3 at level 30, then it's another 50%, so you get 1 in 3 chance. Alright, skill trigger, ingredient finder, inventory, skill trigger. It's got a decent nature, the uh, energy recovery stacks well with the charge energy S skill, and it has an additional skill trigger S, and the ingredient finding down. No berry finding though, I think this one's going to go to the bin as well. Can do a little bit of tidying in this video that's always necessary all right oh right this is one of my earliest pokemon i just remembered i used this marowak a lot in the beginning it's not bad but it's definitely not a long-term invest so you can see here it's got energy recovery bonus but it's got helping speed m and ingredients down nature so <clears throat> decent marowak early on not a long-term Pokemon, unfortunately, just because of the nostalgia here. You can see August 12th. I'm going to keep it around. 
And it's even got a ribbon. It's got the level one ribbon. Okay, then we have the shiny Marowak. I don't think this one is any better. And Rovini taught me a new trick in one of his videos the other day. Watch this. You can like just play around with the screen a little bit and get that crazy sparkle. <laughs> Seems to be triggered when you just flick it a little bit. So, okay. Skill trigger S, skill level up S. A lot of skill focused stuff here. So this one's never gonna sleep. Ingredient finder, speed M. With a decent nature, at the very least having ingredients down on the berry specialists is a good idea. But speed is coming in way late, no berry finding. So these are my Marowak, just gonna keep those in my bag. And I guess I'll just continue hunting the Cubone and get it eventually. So we've had a lot of discussions in Nerdheart the past couple of days. A lot of you guys are new members. It's a lot of fun in there. So what I wanted to just point out here is I have redesigned the onboarding in the North Hard Discord. And essentially you get lifetime access by being a YouTube member. You can find that by clicking the join button that is either on Android devices or on a computer. For some reason, Apple and Google is having like a whole feud. So there's not a join button in the YouTube app on iPhones. And so when you click on this join button, you see the benefits of becoming a member of this channel. So I live in Norway. That is why it says NOK over there, 19. It is $2 USD. You get some emoji when you comment on these YouTube videos. You get lifetime access to the Nerth Hard Discord after just uh, one month. So once you're in, you get to keep the access as long as you follow the rules. And I also reworked this tier uh, yesterday. Now it's only one tier and you get lifetime access to the Discord. You get early access to new videos. So usually these are members only uh, one to three days before the actual time of uh, them being published and then priority reply to comments. And that is just an additional chance at having your YouTube comments nerf hearted. And then if you're curious about the structure of the North Hard Discord server. Uh, this is how it looks like. So you can see we've got news, general. Uh, Pinks is a chat for notification roles. I have everything sorted so that you can just check off the things that you want notifications for and don't check the things that you do want uh, to ignore. And so we also have a help chat. Then we have voice, Unite. We're playing a lot of Pokemon Unite these days. I'm not making videos on Unite, but I am in love with Unite. Uh, I do not want to make videos anytime soon. I'm not like a super <laughs> high tier player or anything, but it's a lot of fun. And it's a lot of fun playing with you guys. So we also have a main series category, which lists all the um, modern, Pokemon main series games uh, that still have an internet connection or some sort of relevancy. And then obviously we have a Pokemon sleep category. There is a lot of activity in there these days. Um, the main Pokemon sleep chat is just, whoosh. and then we have um, rate my Pokemon. We are evaluating each other's Pokemon, cheering, sending all the all mans and all that stuff. And then Pokemon unite and the redesigned onboarding. So the new start here. So if it sounds interesting to you to become a YouTube member and join the North Hard Discord server, then it's just to find that join button and hop on over to Discord. If you are in need of any support or help through this process, just send me a message on Discord and I'll help you out. So that was my call to action in this video. It's been great having all you new members and I am joining uh, or not even joining, I am accepting new friend requests on my free to play account. Currently I have 20 or 21 friends on there. This is filling up rather quickly, I am surprised. And so if you're looking for the Nerth spot, 
in Pokemon Sleep, then go for it. It's a special offering right now. <laughs> Lasts until volume is out. Okay, I'll see you guys in the free-to-play video today. Thank you for watching.